Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the scene environment settings in Corona Render. With the scene environment settings, we can use different backgrounds, HDRIs, and even override the reflections and refractions in our scene. We're going to start by pressing F10 in our keyboard to open the render setup. Then, in the Scene tab, General Settings, press the Start Interactive button. After this, we're going to scroll down to the Scene Environment settings. The first option, and the one that is selected by default, is to use the 3ds Max Environment Map. If we press 8 in our keyboard, we can see that for this example, we have an HDRI map assigned. If we uncheck the Use Map option, the color selected as background will be used as the main environment instead of the map. We can override the 3ds Max environment by selecting Single Map. With this option enabled, we can select a different color by pressing the color button. For example, we can change the background to a blue color. We can also assign an HDRI to the map by dragging it and dropping it from the material editor. If we use the same HDRI, we can notice that the lighting and background are exactly the same in the 3ds Max settings and single map. There is no difference in the quality or rendering time. Multiple maps is a good option for testing different HDRI lightings. To set it up, we're going to press the button next to it. In the new panel, we can select how many environment maps we need by changing the number in the Map Count section. We can then drag and drop the maps from the Material Editor to the Map Slots. We can also use a solid color by changing the color in the color box. To finalize, click the Setup Light Mix button. This is going to add one light select element for each of the maps or colors. Let's start the interactive rendering again. We can see that the beauty pass and the light meets are using all the maps at the same time. With the interactive light meets pass selected, go to the light meets tab. And in this section, we can turn on and off the different environment maps to see the lighting of each one of them. The override options can help us to cheat what is visible. With the direct visibility, we can change the background without affecting the lighting. We can use different colors or different maps. We need to be careful as this can produce fake results if our lighting and background don't match. I also recommend using post-processing for your background as you can have more control over it. The reflection override is going to change the source of reflection for the image for example, if we use a magenta color, we can see how the reflection on the car or the chrome sphere are updated to pure magenta. If we use a different HDRI map, we can see how only the reflection is updated without affecting or lighting. This can provide us with more control over the final image. The refraction override works in the same way as the reflection override option. If we use a green color, we can see how the refraction is showing in the car and the sphere with the glass material. We can also use a different HDRI map to have more control over our final image. And the last option is Global Volume Material. In this map slot, we need to add a Corona Volume Material. This will allow us to add a fog-like effect to our images. This can add mood and realism to our images. We're going to see this material in a future tutorial. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.